it's still not blended. Today I'm going to be trying out the new Hourglass Veil Hydrating Skin Tint. I have it in the shade 3, which is for fair with neutral undertones. This should be a perfect match for me, so let's get into it. I'm going to shake it because the instructions say to shake it well before use. I do actually have to go somewhere, so I have only a few minutes to film, and I will be checking in throughout the day um, as I'm uh, wearing this, but I will be checking in on my phone. You know what? I'm going to put my hair away in these little thingies. So I put my hair out of the way because everything just likes to, like, stick onto it i did finish my entire skincare routine about uh, 40 minutes ago or so so everything has had time to dry down and let's get into it this is what the packaging looks like can you see it i have used it once it wasn't my favorite so let's try it again so i'm going to show you how runny it is it's pretty runny okay and uh this comes in 18 shades a lot of them are on the lighter spectrum and I like to apply skin tints with my fingers. Okay. It takes a minute to blend in, I will say that. So it's taking a little bit more time than I necessarily want. Looks a little streaky as I apply it. Wow, this is taking forever to work in. I thought skin tints were supposed to be easier to use, not harder to use than foundation. Hmm. Let me fix this on my nose here. Let's do a quick side-by-side -side comparison. Honestly, I don't see a difference. <laughs> I don't see a difference. Maybe it's a little bit more beigey than this side, but it hasn't done anything else, and it does look like I have stuff on my face. So mm. let's continue. Let's apply it some more. Oh my god, this is taking forever to blend in. Why? I literally have to go get my laundry because in this building, people touch your laundry if you're not there to get it out quickly enough. It's just insane. It's taking forever, guys. Okay, so this is not a quick, quick use product because you're going to be spending forever just blending it in. Like, I don't want to work this hard when it is so much easier to just use regular foundation. Still not done. Okay, I'm going to tell you now, I don't like this product. I don't know why, but our glasses, uh, base products, and I do not have a good relationship. Their foundation that launched last year, first of all, it kept breaking over my nose. I don't make any expressions with my nose. But it kept breaking over um, over my face. And I don't mean like around my nose. I mean like here. Here. I wasn't wearing sunglasses or anything, but it was breaking over my nose. So, okay. It's still not blended. Okay. This is supposed to be easy. Why is it not easy? So this is what it looks like applied. I feel like on camera it looks a lot better than it does in real life. You know how like there's there's some things that just don't come through and this appears to be it. Like my skin doesn't look ideal. It looks more like skin than foundation, sure. But for a skin tint, I still look like I'm wearing product, but it's uneven application. Uh, I don't know if that's because I applied it with my fingers. I don't. I wasn't particularly aggressive, but I don't know what it is. For something that costs $49 for an ounce, it's not my favorite yet. But, you know, I'm going to wear it throughout the day. I might come back, put a second layer on. Um, I have to go get my laundry and figure out how I feel about it in the interim. So be right back. So it's been about 15 minutes that I've had this on. I went did a whole activity. And let's look at it one more time. So... It definitely, like, hasn't improved in appearance. Um, for some reason, it got stuck in some of those areas right there. There are lines. Mm. Let's do another layer. Yeah? Let's do another layer. Shake it some more. Shake, shake, shake. I know that that song is Chain of Fools. I know it's not Shake, Shake, Shake. But shake, shake, shake. Okay, 
Let's try it tiny amounts. Let's go with that first. <laughs> I've learned my lesson. It is way too expensive to waste like that. All right. This is annoying. Okay. At this point, it isn't doing anything else. It's just moving product around. All right, I don't like this product. I'm just going to tell you now. I don't like it. Just moving things around now. Oh. Come on. There's a stubborn area for some reason. All right. I'm going to I'm going to call it. I don't I don't like this product. I'll still wear it, but I don't like this product. I'm going to not waste this and put it on the other half of the face. Like my face, my skin looks beautiful in the viewfinder and in the monitor on my computer, but in real life in like in in a mirror? Mm -mm. Nope. Nope, nope. I know that some people love skin tints, but, and maybe some people will be like really in love with this one. I feel like you almost need a um, drier skin to enjoy this, uh, cause it just moves product around. Actually, I don't know. Dry skin might actually be a terrible idea. Like the tiniest touch of something and then like it's just there's no there's no blending this in there's no blending this in i'm so annoyed right now it's not doing anything <laughs> i see product but at the same time it's not enhancing my skin in any way Ugh. i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and i'm gonna check in periodically um i'm gonna be going out and about so i'm probably gonna be doing so on my phone camera I'm gonna be checking in periodically to see how it's holding up. I do have to powder this because it is still a summer in New York and it is humid and this does not dry down. This doesn't set, this doesn't do anything. It is just, it's, it's, just, it's just not working for me. But I'm gonna give it another go anyway. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it out in public. Ooh, that's a bad idea. So this is the look. <laughs> this is what I'm going, to, I'm going to go out into the world with. And the only things I have on on my face, uh, I'm not talking about my eyes or my lips, I mean the, the rest of my face, are is a light dusting of the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder in the shade Light, a little bit of bronzer, powder, and a little bit of blush, also powder, just to give myself some dimension. I didn't put on anything else, and I'm going to be checking in periodically throughout the day it is what's the temperature it is 80 degrees in new york right now and the humidity level is 52 percent if you can see that right here so should be okay but <laughs> let's see how this performs uh under all that so i will see you throughout the day as i check in from whatever i'm going to be doing throughout the day i think i'm just going to go for a walk see you in a bit okay so my first check in i am wearing sunglasses love these sunglasses so let's take them off and a little bit came off obviously because of sunglasses overall it is wearing well let's see if i can pat that in a little bit i can't see a thing it's too sunny so overall i think it's looking pretty good except for this but that is only to be expected so it's been about six hours since i first applied it and of course there was that issue when i put the sunglasses on and while i was i guess sweating and that has not exacerbated but i haven't been able to fix it but that's okay um, I've been wearing sunglasses even after that, but no issue. Everything else is holding up pretty well. My skin looks absolutely beautiful, if I may say so myself. And except for the little sweating that made my mascara run, literally not going to be buying that mascara again. Um, I think overall, looks good. Yeah, I think my skin looks fantastic. And I'm back. If you saw the check-ins throughout the day, you pretty much know what's been happening. And I know I am filming at sunset, but I have to. I'm literally leaving in like 15 minutes to go to my sister's so we can go see the Barbie movie. As I said, if you've been seeing my check-ins throughout the day, you pretty much know what's happening. The main thing is that once I removed my sunglasses and a bit of the foundation was lifted based on just like the physical contact between the sunglasses and my skin or like the foundation, the skin tint. Once I removed the sunglasses and whatever got lifted, 
that is all that got lifted throughout the day i kept putting on the sunglasses taking off but because i guess they sit at the same place over and over that there was no more product lifting happening if anything as the day developed i didn't even take this with me much less touch up anything i didn't take powder with me i didn't take anything with me all throughout the day this has just stayed the same and i think that that's actually pretty miraculous for a, a skin tint once you apply it and you set it and you do the rest of your makeup it really like it grows into it <laughs> and it just looks a lot better once your makeup routine is completed just putting it straight on until it just like settled in it wasn't good i didn't like it however at this point i do like how it looks on my skin i really enjoy that of course it lifted off the um off the bridge of my nose and these areas however everything does that and i find that this lifted less noticeably than foundations generally do because foundations can be more pigmented and therefore there's just a lot of pigment there so this just lifted uh, the product but not so badly that it was very noticeable i was able to go throughout the day without feeling very self-conscious um of every time i took my sunglasses off so that's really good my main issue with this product is the price for how much you get it is a skin tint and i would say that 49 dollars at retail not even like the tax $49 is really expensive for this um, I didn't find that it was special in any way it performs the way any skin tint would um, if anything it has less coverage than other skin tints that I've come across but I think it, it is nice it is a lovely product and it is a hydrating product so this is probably gonna work best for those who um, have drier skin or are living in drier climates I don't uh, and so I don't I'm not actually sure how I feel about this I I will use it one or two more times before I make a decision as to whether this is a keep for me or a return I didn't find that this was special in any way um, certainly it was a struggle to put it on and keep it on so those are the pros and the cons or how I feel about it there are some things I do like about it there are some things I don't if it tells you how I feel about this, I was just packing up to go to my sister's. I was packing up makeup and I reached for it and I said, I thought to myself, oh, I don't want to take this. This is too much work to put on. So there you go. That's my opinion. I don't like it that much. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the check-ins. The sun is setting at record speed, so I'm going to say bye and I will see you in my next video. Bye.